Or, God, Heather, he, I'll just punch you and you can be on the next Bachelorette. Okay. He, Hi, I'm Nancy. I'm Heather. I'm a special guest. Our returning guest, Susan. <laughs> and today we're talking about the sixth episode of The Bachelorette. They're in Barcelona. Three cheers to Barcelona! Yes. Yay! 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 Oh, but wait, Drew got the date card. Oh, Drew, he's so clean cut. cut. He's too. He just, he's so clean cut. He's, he's too, 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 too nice. He's like, is he's so. I mean, he has. Is he? Does he look like the type of guy that like cries when he has? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, does he reveal his childhood pain? His oh, yeah. father. Oh, yeah, his father's go. Own. childhood pain. He's gonna. Cry. And that's why they make him so easy to drink. They go mm. down so easily. Oh, Ooh, strong. No yeah. pulse goes down easy. His beer. Mm. Oh, I was gonna say Desiree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought, unless you're a nurse in the 1950s or a third grader about to go to your first communion, you have no business wearing white. <laughs> Yeah, white shoes should be banned. They they belong on strippers, nurses in 1963, or third graders at their first. Yeah, there's, there's there's really no place in this world for white shoes. Don't trust a woman in white shoes. Life tip. And I don't care if they're even sandals. <laughs> white. <laughs> what what's like? They're gonna go. They're like gonna go make out in the corner. Right they do. Right? Yeah, yeah. They're running away from the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were gonna shoplift or something. <laughs> like a. Like a as we work into this um, Bachelorette show, we'll notice that she has no problem loving the boys. I wonder if he has a boner right now. Oh, you know. Like a semi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That he, you know. <laughs> the camera's right. <trying. laughs> I like how they're all just snuggled up to each other. Yeah, like why do they little cow? Why do they have to sit so close to each other? They're like on top of each other, like, like how girls are. Boys aren't like that. No, this is kind of they always. Boys like, need like their ball space. Yeah, stuff, they do. You know? They do. They do. That's why guys think they can like take up like eight chairs on the bus because they think their balls are that big and they need the space. <laughs> I thought James being like. Oh yeah. James. James doesn't do. God, that. don't. They're beating up on James. James didn't do anything Can't wrong. He was just being honest. Let him dig his own hole by having boob sweat and wearing a button-up with flip-flops. And not being able to play soccer and being the goalie and like getting away from the ball being I afraid of it. And having a really, he had a really feminine butt too. I'm not into guys with feminine butts. Look oh, at him. I know what that is. <laughs> he wears his jeans like really, really high on his waist because his butt's really big. Look out. Michael is wearing the red headband mm -hmm. from Dodgeball. And I'm that right there would be a red flag to me. Even though he does have size 14 shoes. I memorize it. I, I mean, <laughs> they put it on the bio. They put it on the bio and he had the he had the largest feet. But Guys, Drew's alcoholic <laughs> father could be a better fucking goalie than James. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is what James would Look at your oh, oh, you know, oh, Owie! <laughs> He, James will not be remembered for the fact that he wanted to be the next bachelor. He'll be remembered for being an absolute fool on the soccer field. Also, his purple button up and boobs like. <laughs> Lord, I never think we're the target audience for any of this. <laughs> why are we still watching? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with it. I have to tell you, whether you're 25 and dating or 56 and dating, it's still the same. The games are the same. The, the playing is the same. I live for the first episode when they show the previews of what's going to come up in the season and the ambulances come <laughs> and Tamara's falling downstairs and shit. I just, I can't live without it. Oh my God. And when they, they are all crunched up on the couch again, yeah. sitting really close to each yeah. other. Oh, and Zach's supposed to go on a fucking date with yeah. her. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this thing goes on and on and on. You're not going to pick Mr. Peepers as the father of your children, so don't even <laughs> Just get over it. Who would want Mr. Peepers? I like Mr. Peepers. The final rose goes to... Drum roll. Just give it out. Give it out! Get a little pretty ogre! Michael! Oh! Adios, Juan Pablo. Did Zach get one? 
Yeah, he got one on his day with baby. Oh, I'm so sad. One Pablo is going. Oh, I'm such a dramatic for me. One Pablo is leaving the show. Casey, your bad hairline. Casey, you go back. He's leaving the show. Yes, Casey's not going to be Bye. And Jay. Bye, Jay. I already crossed him out last week. Why do we always have like single dads on this show? Is that like all who's left? It's hard to find 30 year olds without kids. I don't know. Jesus Christ. It's not that hard to not have a kid. Like, it's really <laughs> not. Let's cry, though. <laughs> Do you not?